So you have just co-founded and are COO of an incredible company based in Austin, which we'll talk more about called Base Power Company. But you have an incredible background leading up to this, which is what I want to start with. So you ended up as an engineer at SpaceX. It sounds like early on, maybe right out of college, stuck around for a while and then ended up at Andrel. So can you walk us through like how all this happened? Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me uh, on, on on board. This is this is really cool. I originally uh, from the Detroit area, Midwest, uh, born and raised between Detroit and Chicago, and went to University of Michigan, studied mechanical engineering. I did, did an internship actually in my first semester sophomore year at, at, at SpaceX, and then went back full time. When I was there, I did a few things. But right when I had started at SpaceX, they were moving towards the the current version of the Falcon rocket that's flying today called Block 5, and it's the one that's like uh, rated for and, and now does carry people. And there's a big transformation uh, on the manufacturing side for a number of the big structures that make up the rocket. And so I was working on those as an engineer and standing up a production line. And then the sort of the, towards the, the second half of my time there, I was down in, in Boca Chica Beach, Brownsville, now now Starbase, but it was, was there before it was called, it was called Starbase. And like a uh, small team and I showed up down there and it was an overgrown field and we're like, we want to build a rocket factory here. And so stood up the, the, the team and the line that uh, did the first builds of the, the Starship vehicle, which was, which was a ton of fun, really interesting, super stressful, very much a like, you know, SpaceX was uh, I'm on the order of 15 years or something old at that point, but it felt very much like a, you know, early stage seed, seed, seed stage startup. So it got sort of the like, entrepreneur entrepreneur sort of experience there which was a ton of fun and that and, might do you mean just like yeah. literally free reign to get done what you needed to get done <laughs> i mean, basically yeah it was free reign and and and, and hurry up which is often the <laughs> often the spacex methodology yeah it was a lot, lot of fun and it was like tr truly actually like overgrown field and it's like okay we need to build we need to build a rocket that rocket is a tube and we want it to be steel what other things in the world are steel tubes oh uh water towers are steel tubes okay let's like Go hire some construction companies that build water towers. Like, show us how to build a st big steel tube and sort of get the tricks of the trade and weld processes aligned and that sort of thing. And it was a ton of just like, let's figure it out as we go, which was a ton of fun. And frankly, it took you know took a lot of the lessons learned to that experience here to here to base power. Mm -hmm. um, so in uh, in 2020, moved over to Anderol in southern Southern California, and led manufacturing for for the company. So basically, all the Hardware that was that was built internally for the ground, you know, sensors uh, for border security and, and base security with the Sentry Tower to a bunch of the different drone products. How did years. this? How did this transition happen? Did you have your eye on Andrel and you reached out to someone? Did you know the guys there? Maybe some SpaceX um, people. Uh, no, I didn't. I actually didn't. I'm trying to remember how this happened. I, I don't. I didn't know them. I I, I didn't know the guys there. Um, at the time, I was like, okay, Brownsville is awesome. Really enjoy what I'm doing here. But mm -hmm. but I think like. My longer term vision was to not live in South Texas at the time, and you know my you know my wife and uh, it was there was there was some like hey we should really not live in South Texas <laughs> discussions that we had, and so basically decided to go go back to Southern California where she and I were were were, were sort of splitting time and living. So that was that was the main reason, and and Andrew was like a really cool opportunity at the time because just like a truly excellent f founding founding team there had a ton of great experience. You know, obviously coming in from Palantir and Oculus and so, et cetera, interviewed there and like they just had a clearly a world class team, a world class sort of product, and were frankly taking a lot of the similar approaches that SpaceX took to sort of disrupting aerospace to disrupting defense, which I uh, very passionate about. So yeah, that's why I ended up ended up jumping. What would be maybe an example of a few of those ways that they were starting the company that was similar? Was it sort of the same mentality of like just get out of the way and let people run, but like push this yeah. sense of urgency to get things done? Yeah, I think it was definitely a sense sense of urgency. It was low low bureaucracy, high meritocracy mm -hmm. kind of environment that that I, I think um you know, I, I learned a ton from, from from Elon and the whole team at SpaceX about that being sort of the right way, I think, to run a, run a company and definitely saw that embodied with, you know, Palmer and Matt and Brian and Trey that, that started started Andrew. Also, just like as an engineer, it's just like cool tech like that. That matters to me. That matters to a oh, lot yeah. of, you know, prospective employees. It's like, is the thing I'm working on like cool and interesting and has like sort of interesting technical challenges in, in, in many ways. So that was what, what attracted me to, to Amber, How many people was the company when you started? On the order of 200. So it wasn't like, it wasn't okay. like super early. I think this was, I want to say post series B. So like 
had a had a product and a few products in market. I think had had, had some r- early customer traction. The, the company had definitely developed quite a, quite a bit. I think it was founded in 2017. I started in mid 2020, so like three and three and mm-hmm. some odd years old. All of the things that I was sort of describing were already evident in sort of just like interviewing with the team there. And I was like, wow, this is a great fit. Really enjoy the people. Interesting technical challenge. Mm-hmm. Good career move. So that's why. So obviously, like fast forward, I guess almost four years or just over, you've started your company, but I mean, maybe pinpoint or like highlight if you're open to it, just some key highlights at Andrew and the growth even over like how I'm, I'm assuming you're obviously much larger at the time that you left, but like, what was that experience? Like yeah. Overall? Yeah. I think the team basically 10 X in size, like the employee okay. headcount 10 X in size. Some of that was through acquisitions and some of that was, there, or a lot of that was through organic growth. When I had started, it was a team of like kind of two or three of us doing manufacturing and manufacturing related things, either physically building it, the supply chain side, you know, work instructions, tooling, standing up the line, some of the like facility stuff. And I think it grew to like on the order of 200 or so by the time I had left. So so the manufacturing portion had grown, you know, Mm -hmm. even more at a percentage basis, at least than the whole whole company did. I mean, Andrew's, Andrew's got a lot of stuff in, 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 in the press, so I don't need to go over all of the, all the wins that they've had and partnerships and all that, but they are, I think there was like you know, four or five acquisitions that they did at the time uh, mm-hmm. that I was there. I was sort of loosely involved in a hand, handful of them. Um, it was, it was really, really, really cool to see a company go from, we have a, have a product that's, you know, working in market, a lot of traction, really, you know, sort of great set of engineers, great, really interesting technology to like, now meaningfully competing with the incumbents in the industry, in this case in defense, the defense primes, and built a world-class sort of organization. You know, you walk into Andrew now and it looks like a corporation. If there's like, you know, teams of people doing various <laughs> various different things and it's a totally different, you know, environment than, than, than when I had started. And you know, I worked very closely with, with the founders, but in particular the C- COO there, Matt, and like just learned an incredible amount uh, from, from, from him on like how to build a culture the nitty gritty ins and outs of like what it means to build a good HR function and IT and mm-hmm. and facilities and engineering culture and all this stuff that just like uh, like definitely could not have started the company today without having having learned all that from from them and I'm frankly just so grateful for 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 the opportunity they gave me and, and just the learning that I was able to to have during the three plus years that I had at Andrew from. Yeah. Uh, that help you know help is helping build uh, build base power today. Yeah, no, a, a incredible company and and yeah. a fantastic experience for you, I'm sure. And then yeah. so now, had you always wanted to start a company, or when did you and how did you know this was time? Yeah, um, you know, it's an interesting question. I definitely like always have enjoyed going from sort of nothing to something. Like I, I'm like a. Uh, a car guy in the traditional sense. I like built a little kit car uh, back in the day. My dad studied engineering, was an engineer before moving into sort of the corporate world and always worked on house projects with, with him. I've always liked the act of building things. It was not necessarily like, well, it must be a company from zero to, you know, big company. It could be within a, within the organization. So like what I did at S- SpaceX with Starship, partially what I did at Android with some of the manufacturing stuff. Really enjoyed that. How did I know it was, it, it, it was time? I had... Um, You've been passionate about the energy space for a while. I'm sure we'll get into what, you know, what we do and all that, but I was very passionate about the problem. Thought that there was not a, a, a company that was really approaching it, I think, in the way that I, I, I and my, my, my co-founder, Zach, really wanted to. And so it was less about, like, I want to start a company. Let me think about, you know, ideas, write them all down, pick the best one, and then start the company. It was like, okay, there's an interesting problem here. It seems like nobody else is solving it in the way that we, we want it to. There's also an interesting business case and, and sort of e- economics behind it. And we talked to a few investors and we're like, oh, there's some, some people that are interested in maybe giving us some money. And so like that was when I was like, okay, well, all of these sort of ducks have uh, the stars of a line, so to speak, ducks mm-hmm. in a row to start the company. 